Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Python interview questions. That is how to sort a list in ascending and descending order in Python. Let me answer. In Python, we have two inbuilt functions. That is sort and sorted. Using these two inbuilt functions, we can sort a list in ascending and descending order. Let me practically demonstrate them for you. First of all, I'll create a list here. Okay, let's say uh, A is a list. Okay, and uh, list in Python will have the square brackets. I'll give a list of elements. Let's say nine comma one comma five comma seven. Okay, now I need to sort them in ascending order and descending order. First, we'll go with the ascending order. As we already mentioned, there are two inbuilt functions to sort a list in Python. First, I'll go with the first one, which is the preferred one, guys. Okay, most of the people use this uh, inbuilt function out of these two. So let's go with the one that people generally use. So I have to simply say the name of the list is a, a dot, I have to say a dot sort. Okay, I simply need to say a dot sort, that's it, guys, nothing much. So before sorting, if I print the list, what's happening? And after sorting, if I'm printing the list, okay, I'm simply printing the list, what's happening? Let's see. So all these elements of this list need to be sorted in ascending order after sorting. Okay. So first you will get something without sorted. 9 comma 1 comma 5 comma 7. When I print the list as it is without sorting, this is the thing. After sorting, you see all the elements of this list got sorted in ascending order. You can also apply this uh, sort for alphabets guys here. Okay. Alphabetical wise uh, from low to high, it's kind of can sort. Okay. Not only for numbers. Now, guys, uh, I'll show you another way of sorting. Okay. So another way of uh, sorting the list in Python that is uh, by using this another inbuilt function that is sorted inbuilt function. How to do that? I'll show you. So here, guys, I have to simply say uh, sorted of list like this. You have to write like this. Okay. Sorted of list. And this is going to return another list, guys. Okay. This is going to return another list. So it's not going to sort the original list. Rather, it's going to sort this list and generate another list for you. Okay. I'll say essay. Essay is a sorted list. Let's assume essay is a sorted list. And now I'll say print of essay. The original list will be as it is, guys. Okay. Print of A means the original list will not change. After sorting, also, the original list will not change. So this inbuilt function will return you another list which has a sorted list of elements. Okay, that's how it is different. Sorted is different from the sort. Now run this. You see, the original list is as it is. The A when I'm printing A after sorting, it's still there. Same nine comma one comma five comma say seven. And uh, whatever the returned list, sorted list, this sorted uh, inbuilt function has returned, right? If I'm printing that particular list, I'm getting the elements in sorted order. Okay, fine. So far so good. Now I have shown you till now uh, how to sort the list in ascending order by using these two inbuilt functions where we generally use this one, guys. Okay, mostly we'll use this normal sort inbuilt function, okay, which is kind of straightforward and it's sort sorting the original list, okay. Whereas this one is generating another list without touching the original list, okay. Fine. Anyhow, let's try to sort now, okay. Let me show you how to sort the list in descending order for you by using these two inbuilt functions, okay. So how to sort this list in descending order using the sort inbuilt function? So for that, I have to say a dot sort. If I don't provide anything inside the circular brackets, okay, this sort inbuilt function will sort this list in ascending order. But if I want to sort this list in descending order, I would write something like this. Reverse is equal to true. By just mentioning this, reverse is equal to true as an argument to this uh, sort inbuilt function, this list elements will be sorted in descending order. That is nine will be there first, then seven will be there, then five will be there, then one will be there, okay? So before sorting, if I am printing A, it will look something like this, 9, comma 1, comma 5, comma 7. After sorting it in re reverse order, that is a uh, descending order, if I am printing this list, it will be sorted in descending order, that is 9, 7, 5, and 1. Let's see. You see, 9, 7, 5, and 1 after sorting in reverse. That is reverse or descending order. Okay. Now, how can we use the other inbuilt function to sort the list in a uh, descending order, that is sorted inbuilt function? So I'll show you. I have to simply say, Sorted, sorted, and inside that I have to sort what? I have to sort this list. I have to give this A here and give a comma here and say reverse is equal to true. 
Okay, this are extra argument you have to provide, guys. Okay, and this sorted inbuilt function is going to return you a list uh, which contains the elements which got sorted in descending order. Okay, SA is equal to. Okay, now if you print A, the original list will not be modified, guys. Okay, the order of the order of this uh, elements in this original list will not be touched. Rather, whatever the returned list that is coming out of this inbuilt function here, right, that SA will contain the elements that got sorted in descending order. Okay, let's run this. You see. The original list is as it is 9157A when you are printing, but SA, the return list out of the sorted as the elements got sorted in descending order 97511. So, hope guys, uh, you got the answer for this uh, question. Okay, so that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another Python interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye bye.